Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Colors. Um, in the last part, we finished up with Planet Wisp. Sad, sad, bye Planet Wisp, you're so beautiful. Um, and now we are going on to Aquarium Park, which is beautiful as well. Like, look at this place. It's like this coral reef underwater fantasy mixed with kind of like shogun Japan, kind of imperial Japan sort of atmosphere. It's basically like a cross between The Little Mermaid and Okami with robots. What more could you want? So let's get started. And the music here is just top notch. Like I can't, I can't stress enough. Like just listen. Oh my god! It's just like fucking... Like the only word I have for it is like orgasm inducing. And then like when, when you like boost and it gets like that cool like filter going on as well, it's just like almost better. And just like look how beautiful this place is as well. Just like, oh there's just like, whoa, samurai robots and look at all those Eggman's robots. And you feel like, and you're in this kind of pagoda atmosphere. There must have been like a, a, a loser that I missed like on the way over. Oh, there it is. There, there it was, I saw it. Well, can I go back now? Can I go back? That'd be really cool if I could go back and make use of it. <laughs> and maybe like not walk into this robot, sorry. He's like, they're just standing there and they here I walk into his back. <laughs> Look at them cavorting around. Oh well. I guess we won't make use of the laser. We have it anyway. But I remember like when I got this game first, um, one of my friends from school who wouldn't have been like um like it wouldn't have been big into video games anyway, like he played video games. Yeah. What am I doing wrong here? Um oh, I have to do this. Um, he would have played video games, but like he would have had a PS2 and a PS3. Um, like he wouldn't have been like a Sonic player or like a Nintendo kid or any of those. Oh my god, and when you go underwater, and water isn't as scary in this game at all because like you can like swim. Did you ever think you would see the day when Sonic would be able to swim like this? And not only can, not only can you swim, it gets even better than that. You can do this. It's just, oh my god, it's just so fun. Oh my, it's just like unbelievable. I love it. But I remember like we played like, um, like I remember like we played this game, like cause I had just got it. Ooh, I'm going doing that. Um, no. No, can I cancel it? Oh, I, I did it anyway, jeez. Well, I didn't do it right, but I still did it. Um, do it, do it, do it! Yes! Woo! Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I don't have any laser. Um, oh yeah, but this friend of mine, he was one of my best friends at school. Like, he um, came over and we were playing this game. And it, this was the point of the game I was at, was Planet Wisp and Aquarium Park. I just got it. And I was like saying to him, like I had already fallen in love with the music in this game from day one. Um, and I remember we got to this level and it was just like, oh, like for the two of us, we just loved the music so much. It was just so good. Um, like, and we, we just got completely blown away by it, just by how amazing it was. What am I supposed to do with this game? Fuck that. I'm just going down here. Because I want to run and listen to this just like banging music. Like that's the only word I can um, think of to, to describe it is banging. Like it's just banging tunes is what it is where you die. I'm pretty sure like there was a thing that I missed there that I could have um... That I could have um... Um where like there was like a lever a thing in the yeah look there that's what i'm supposed to do <laughs> stop just trying to go fast harry you're supposed to do what you're supposed to do Ooh, drill drill actually has 
Okay, I kind of like some air. Oh, well, <laughs> well, screw air, there's the end of the level. <laughs> oh my god, but, but yeah, I just remember, like, that memory of him, like, I remember that, like, like, we were just playing it because it was a new game that I had got. Um, and I remembered how the music in and how beautiful this world was, Aquarium Park, and Planet Wisp as well. How even that had an effect on him or like had com completely blew him away as someone who was like coming in from the outside as well. If you know what I mean, which kind of... Which kind of made like a difference, I suppose, or which kind of like for me it was like, oh well, it just it just goes to show if it can have like that effect on 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 so, on some would not be as susceptible. Like that 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 that's the, exactly the the term I'm looking for is susceptible. Like someone who normally would not be whoa. That, that was just way too close for comfort. That was actually some like last second, um, like last moment shit there. Um, susceptible is the word that I'm looking for because like for me, as someone who like was going into playing this game, as someone who was going into playing this game as like a Sonic fan already who, um, um, who loved the series. What? What is up here? Oh, this? Pfft. What is up here? What is the benefit of this? I'm just like trampoline on this thing. Trampampoline. Um, as someone who was like going into this game as um, someone who was already in love with the Sonic series, like, ob obviously I have like my bias. Obviously, I'm biased as well because I'm, I'm going to love pretty much any Sonic game. Well, not going to love pretty much any Sonic game, but it's easier for me to love a Sonic game than Joe Blow, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but, like, that, that's what I mean, that even someone who didn't have that initial bias, who wasn't as susceptible to liking Sonic games, was just completely blown away by this world and, and what it had to offer, both visually and sonically. <laughs> like, that that's what I'm trying to say. And gee, I said it on Twitter, I warned you guys on Twitter that, that... Whoa, 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 is that what I wanted to do? I have a feeling that is not what I wanted to do. I also have a feeling that I might as well just go down here. This is going to be the underwater level, apparently. I wouldn't mind some air, though. This is working out just fine. And now I'll gently float down. Yo-ho, yo-ho, near the wisps, I'll never go. Like, just look at how cool this place is. Like, it's just absolutely mind-blowing. Like, when you think about what this world actually is, like, it's basically like an enormous dome with this imperial Japanese like atmosphere here built into it like this enormous place do you know what it looks like actually like it's not unlike um are they spikes it's not unlike like in in spirited away like the um like where she arrives like at first like where her like where her parents um um, where her parents turn into pigs and everything. Like, it, it's not unlike that, the way it looks. Which I think is, like, really pretty cool, actually. Okay, where's my air? Oh, well, there's a thing that I can just use. There doesn't seem to be much air down there. That's the thing that's, like, freaking me out whenever I go down there. And I don't have any boost power. You got boost power. <laughs> I can't say the words boost power without saying them like that. It's <laughs> like... Um, I'm, apparently I'm supposed to- well, no, actually, because you see there's like another wisp that we haven't unlocked yet, which we won't actually be unlocking for some time, because I don't think that uh, Aquarium Park doesn't have any new wisps, like we unlocked the spike wisp in, um, in- we unlocked the spike wisp in Planet Wisp, 
but Aquarium Park you don't unlock any new wisps, you just like find new ways to utilize old wisps like the um as I was going to show you guys, I never got to show you, the, the drill wisp when you use it underwater, you just like propel yourself through the water, it's ridiculous. Oh my god, where why do we have to go through this so fast? Like it's just so like it's not a shame, like that's not what I want to say. But it's like, I'm gonna miss this world already, like Planet Wisp was over in two videos and I miss it already because it's so beautiful. Anyway, here we are, Act 4. It, it's because I'm not failing as much as I thought I would, but we'll just wait till we get to a certain part here, I'm probably gonna fail like a dickens on that. Maybe that's even in this world. Oh my god, yes I think it is. Yes it is, this is Crab Force. Oh my god. I, th I thought that he had act would actually get me there. This this level is actually like a level that fucking stumped me for the longest time. Like this game isn't actually that hard. Can we just do it this way? There we go. Um, this game isn't actually that hard, but no matter how easy it it is, um, there's a certain part which I think stumped pretty much every um person who played this game for the first time, jeez, that's a death trap, um, which I think stumped pretty much every person who played this game for the first time, and it's in this level. I could have gone under there, but I think we'll go over and get laser! Um, ooh, this looks like fun. That, oh my god, that was fun. Oh my god, I didn't know I was gonna land down there! Get sliced up by these guys, get sliced and diced. Um. No, I wanted to go up! <laughs> no, I wanted to go up! What was that? Try, try and keep yourself in check here. Um. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person, and those of you who know what I'm talking about can pro probably have had um, a similar experience. Was that all I got from that? Was some measly rings? Jeez. I'm not gonna bother, like, using up any of my, um, my boost power. Just to, like, move those boxes. Um, but yeah, this is the... This is the part of the game that, like, that, that actually stumped me for the longest time. But it's actually not that bad. Like, it could be worse. Like, the, the, the thing that really, like, stumped me, like, playing this game the first time was that I was actually just doing it wrong. That's what it was, and it actually just wasn't apparent to me at the time how you were supposed to do it right. I'm just gonna use the boost. Use the boost to get through! Jeez, the, the, the jokes just keep on coming. I, I could be using laser to get um, through this more quickly, I suppose. Those, like, chompers just, just keep on coming as well. They're not- the jokes aren't the only things that keep on coming here. Well, no, I need them. I want the boost power. I need to use the wisps to my own end. But, like, I'm actually take I, I, I kind of want to keep them for the part that I'm talking about. Careful. That's, like, the, the bad thing. Those spikes are... Okay, is this it? I'm pretty sure we're, like, getting up to it now. What, can I use this? Might as well. <laughs> Why not? It, it lets me take a shortcut through all this nonsense. Maybe I'll get the chance to show you the drill now. There we go. That was actually a pretty cool use of the drill. Um... Oh my god, is it, like, coming? Oh, jeez, how did I, like, not get hit by those spikes there? <laughs> I, it's, like, this, this, it's... I'm getting nervous here because, like, this is the part of the game that... Do you know when, when you, like, start an LP, sometimes there's, like, a part in a game where you think, Oh my god, I'm somewhat not looking forward to that. Well, oh my god, I think we're there. I think we're there. I really do think we're there. Like, do you know the way sometimes there's like a part of a game where you think, 
Oh no, I'm. that's the part I'm not looking forward to recording because I'm going to fail and make myself look like an idiot. Well, we are here in this game for me. Yes, this is it. Oh my god, here we go, and it is Crab Force. Okay, no, because... Wait a second, why couldn't I jump? Because isn't that what you have to do? You have to jump? What is it again? Oh, I know what it is. No, it isn't jump. This is the thing. I was worried about forgetting how to do this. Okay. No. Fuck. Okay, is this... I'm pretty sure there was like an easier way to do this. Like, I'm pretty sure there was like an, an easier way to do this. Like, because you, you do fight this guy like later in the game as well. And I thought there was like an easier way to, to do it. Can I just like get away from him? Can I try doing that? Yes, did I do it? Fa oh my god, thank you so much. I was so, like, I cannot tell you how many times. I was pretty sure you were able to jump on that guy, but maybe that's like when you fight him later on in the game. Because you do fight him later on as well, that crab force guy. I'm just kind of glad to have got past him. You could tell I was being kind of quiet and unsure of myself compared to, like, um, my regular performance of in this LP, which has kind of been instinctual and somewhat successful, thankfully. Um... Okay, now I'm okay. Now I'm now I feel comfortable. Like as far as I'm concerned, the rest of the game is going to be a cakewalk. But like that is the one part that I always remember, just like giving me hell when I played this the first time. And that's like those memories. They they stay. They remain. And then I almost like had a freak attack there when you couldn't jump because I'm pretty sure you can jump later on when you when you fight him the sec when you square up against him the second time. But anyway. I need to take a breath and take a sip of tea. At least we have some really calming music here. It's so beautiful. Once again, the music is just... Like, astronomically good in this game. I love it. So yeah, thanks for watching this part of Let's Play Sonic Colors. Um, I'll see you next time. And we'll continue on in Aquarium Park. Bye now.